Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your boy, The Ghetto Ogfer, a.k.a. Pastor Tech, coming back at you with another unboxing. And today, we're going to be unboxing these puppies right there. Maybe not an unboxing, but an unbagging, or uh, uh, unveiling of the Beats Solo 4s. Now, they normally come um, three colors. Right now, black, um, slate blue, and the pink color, I guess that's the new rose gold or pink. I don't know what what, what what it's called as far as the color of that is. But blue, um, pink, and black. These will run you normally $199, $199.99. But right now they're on sale for $149. And since I got this in an open box state, you can take about $20 off of that. That's how much I paid for it off the sale price. So, you know, save $20. But hey, save some money. And before we get into the un you know, the, the unveiling of the Beat Solo 4s. Let me go ahead and give you some of the specs on it. Um, so right now, the specs is custom acoustic architecture and updated driver for a powerful beat sound, personalized spatial audio with um, dynamics, sorry, head tracking, ultra light um, ergonomic design for all day comfort, ultra plush Ear cushions are designed for comfort and durability. Up to 50 hours of battery life, fast fuel means a quick 10 minute charge gives up to five hours of playback. Pretty good. High resolution lossless audio via the USB C or 35 millimeter cable. Dual compatibility include one touch pairing, both iOS and Android. High quality call performance, which I wouldn't make no calls on this, to be honest with you. Um, uh, performance and voice assistant, uh, interesting leading class one Bluetooth for extended range, fewer dropout. So that's, you know, we'll see. You know, one thing I'm already going to tell you I'm mad about because when you pay something for 199 or anything above 100, this thing should come with the um, noise cancellation. You know, ultra noise cancellation or whatever you want to call it, ANC, active noise cancellation. So that should come with that. But we're going to get into the um, unboxing. But before we get into the, um, the, uh, re the revealing of this, um, please do me a favor. Please like, share, and describe. subscribe. I said subscribe. Subscribe, guys. I am very thankful for all of you. I am right now above 1,000. I think I'm at 1,010. So I want to thank everybody just for your patience, for just rocking with the channel. Even, for, you know, y'all that comment in the comments. I tried to um, answer every comment I get. And sometimes, guys, to be honest with you, YouTube doesn't send me the notification. So there might be, I checked the app. You know, I check the, the YouTube app a lot and sometimes I don't even see it until a day or two later. So please, you know, bear with me. I'm trying to get a better type of um thing going on so I can answer everybody's questions. So I just want to thank y'all for rocking with your boy. So please do a favor. Please like, share and subscribe again. Please like, share and subscribe so we can continue to grow this unboxing community. Without further ado, let's get to the Eagle Live view. Welcome to the Eagle Eye View. So this is how the pouch look. You know how the box look. So this is about, uh, I, I, I mean, it's better than last year pouch of the Solo 3. So you can see, I got the Solo 3s here. We're going to be kind of comparing them as we go along. So I do like this pouch better. Solo 3 pouches. So you like this pouch better. So let's get into it. So take these out, see what comes in it. So we have the 35 millimeter headphone jacks. And then we also have, since this is type C charging, we have this right here. So there we go, we have type C, so we have C to C, which is pretty good. And then on the inside of this, we have some pockets. So you can you know, store them in here. So, so I like this. this I, I, you know, for a hundred some dollars, guys, I wish they would just do a hard case. I think a hard case would be better. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. And now, so now we get into these right here. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I'm looking at them. <sighs> to be honest with you guys, I do not like the way they look. I like these solo threes better. We're going to compare. Um, and like I said in the intro, you know, they should come with you know, active noise cancellation. You're paying that much money, they should just add it in. 
because everything else has it in as well. So we can look at this. So we're gonna go here. This is the this is the left ear. So on the left ear, normal you have your you have your 35 millimeter headphone drive. You have your button. Just you know how you control the music, and then on the left side, nothing but the actual pair. Pair you turn it off and on. So we'll do that in a little while right here. Though so let let me get the solo three so you can see what I'm talking about. I just like the design. I think the solo threes look a little bit more premium. Now the color is a little bit. I like the the color selection of the solo threes, but as you can see, I like the, how the Solo 3s look better to me. Now, roughly the same size. They say these are lighter. We're going to go ahead and weigh them in a little while. But you can see, you know, you got the logo, Beats logo up here. But right here, you know, they have the 4s. You know, still kind of the same design. But I like these better for some reason. They look and feel more premium to me. You know, they're both still made out of the same kind of plastic materials this is still soft up here soft and right here th these are still soft too but i think this is a little bit more more softer but i like the solo threes i think they're just a little bit more aggressive in the look they tried to mill down the look I, I, now you know look at that see solos and you got this I, I like these like the solo threes better to me in the way they look now how are they going to sound compared to the to the other ones we will find that out so let's go ahead and weigh them and see how much they weigh, you know, kind of compare the newer to the older. Now, the Beat Solo 4s are going to weigh about 218, 218 grams, and the Solo 3s are at 216. So actually, the Solo 3s are a little lighter. I don't know how that is, but that's what it's saying. All right, guys, what we're going to do right now, we're going to go ahead and weigh it with in the pouch, I have um, one of the wires. Normally, I'll carry the 35 millimeter headphone drive with me. So you have 326 grams. When you have it in the pouch, same thing with this. And I do have this metal thing on here. Let me, let me take that off. Now, I'm going to leave it on. Let's see. So we have 289, 289 grams. Let's look at this one again. And we have 327 grams. So this is basically what you'll be carrying. You know, those are the weights comparable. I right, let's get back to the regular view so I can give you some more comparisons. I like this bag better, like I said, than this bag. And I'm going to show you why. Now, the these are going for $119, the, the Solo. The Solo 3s are going for $119. But as you can see, like I said, I have... Normally, I carry the 35 millimeter head for Jack in there. That. See that? And then, sorry, guys. Kind of get mixed up a little bit. Take these out. And, you know, again, right here. So, if you can look at this, this is bigger. Now, I'm going to tell you why I like this one better than this one. Now, watch this. Say, I'm trying to just go ahead. I'm at the gym. I want to go home. Put it in here. I got to do all this. And then you got this sticking out here, so you have to kind of finagle that around like that and then close it. So, okay, now you at the gym. Here we go. Okay, I gotta go. You know what I'm saying? My daughter called me, gotta pick her up. Put her in there. No hassle. No hassle. So the having a bigger bag, yeah, it's gonna give you a, a couple of extra grams, you know, one or two, three or four, five, six, whatever. But look at that. So then, watch this. What they should, what they could have done, is just go ahead and take these. And guess what? They can fit them in here perfectly. So the bigger bag is a must compared to this because trying to get these in here is not going to work. All right, guys. So. That's for all the show and tell. I do like the way the threes look better. I think they, to me they have a little bit more premium look. Now, I don't know how they sound yet. We'll get to that in a little while. But as you can see, there's roughly the same size, roughly about the same weight. These do weigh one or two grams lighter than this. So I would say, you know, as of right now, they're even 
even kill. I mean, you know, if you like minimalistic, you can go with these. You know, $149.99 to $100, basically, for the threes. Why don't we go ahead and get it um, charged, see how it looks when it's charging, and get it paired up? Okay, we're going to use the cord that came with it. And one thing I can say, the cord is thick, thicker than, you know, some of the other cords. This is my Samsung cord, as you can see. This cord is thicker, so you know, kudos to them for giving us a thick cord. I think they should have given us a braided cord, but hey, it's a whole different question. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the USB C, and then we're gonna go ahead and and then you see it's charging up. Now, one thing on the older model, on um, which I did like better, and we're gonna show you, it only got one light. Now, on the threes, when you charge it up, well. Sorry, guys. Almost forgot I had to get a new charger. So go ahead and put this in here. Now, one thing I can say about the threes, yes, it used the old USB. But when you go ahead and charge it up, make sure I'm putting this in right. That way. You see that? It gives you indication where it is. So again, I like this design a little bit better. It let me know that, you know, I have five. I'm halfway there to charging up fully. But then when you look at the, you know, the, the fours, it only gives you that one single light. I kind of like the threes better for what it does in the charging department. So now we're going to go ahead. Already got the app already. We're going to hit B solo. I to turn the power on. And you're going to want to, it says turn the power on. You're going to want to hold the button. So we're going to do that. We'll turn it on and we're going to keep the button held. Now, what it's doing is once you get into that that mode right there, that constantly beeping, that intermittently not beeping but um, flashing came up. So, so we're going to tap, it's going to ask you to hit allow, and then it's going to hopefully there you go. So we're going to hit save. We're going to hit done. Got it. As you can see, guys, everything is set up. I can change the name, features explored. You know, you got all your, ad, your settings and stuff. So I'm going to see if it needs to be updated. But we're going to go ahead and get to the regular view, listen to some music, and see how they compare and see if they're worth the buy. Yo, 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 I'm back, everybody, to give it the sound test, to see how it sounds, and give you a grade to see if it's worth the money that you would pay for it or you know whether you should or should not pay for it let's get to the fit now now one thing about beats to me they always fit really well on on my head so they're tight they fit well you can move it a little bit make sure it's on top of the head right they do shake a little bit because they don't cover the ears. They cover, they sit on top of the ear. They don't cover it, you know, fully cover the ear. So they do sit on there. Just a, it's pretty good. Now, if you shake violently enough, you can't get them to move. But, you know, if you're jogging or doing something like that, and I need to jog, it's pretty well. Now, does it fit just as good as the threes? Yes. They both fit well. You know, you didn't lose nothing. I think these are a little bit more snug. Let's see. I mean, if you move them violently, they can move, you know, vigorously, they can move. But, you know, so they still retain that same type of fit. Um, so let's get to listen to some music. Let's see if the controls work like they always should. Get them right. Okay. So now you tap it once. Look, I got it on the wrong side. Guys, sorry. What's the left side? You'll know the left side because... It'll have the clicker. So it comes on. Turn it off. Hit one button, come on. Double tap. Goes forward. Triple tap. One, two, three. Goes backwards. Goes backwards. Now the outside ring allows you to turn it up and down. So let's go ahead and listen to some music and see how the music sounds. Okay? So let's get to that right now.
Now, guys, this, the music sounds really good on these. I'm not saying they're the best I've ever heard, but they do sound really good on this. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and cut this off. All right. And then what we're going to do, we'll go ahead and cut these on to see how they sound compared comparatively against these. Make sure I got them on the right side. All right. Let's go ahead and see how they sound. Okay, guys, I, I'm, uh, these sound like they have a little bit more punchier bass. Let's do that one more time. Let's see how this goes. Let's do that one more time. Guys, to my ears, again, not the greatest audio file here, but it sounds like the solo threes have a little bit more punchier bass. Let's try another song. Let's try another song and see how it how it does with that song. Another song to see. Alright, we're gonna do this one right here. So we're gonna keep these, put these back on. And let's see how it. Alright guys, that sound still sounds really good. Okay, what is this saying? It's already it's already done. What do you know? I'll go ahead and turn these off. The one thing I don't like about these is kinda like you gotta hold it for for a long time just to turn it off. All right, now they're off. All right, let's go ahead and turn on these. See, it's a little finicky when it comes to the off and on. All right, we're connected. Let's see. All right, guys. Now, now that I've been wearing them, this one does have a tighter fit on the head. Some people are gonna like it. Some people are not gonna like it. Um, these do have a tighter fit. The Solo Threes do have a tighter fit. Um, now, the Solo Threes sound just like the Solo Fours. I think the Solo Fours are a little bit clearer on some things, the highs and the lows. But the bass is more pronounced on the Solo Threes. It's like they kind of, you know kind of um lessen the bass on the solo fours both of them sound good um sound wonderful not good sound wonderful but i think if you you know if you're looking for that punchier bass the solo threes will probably be the best bet so we're gonna try one more song um try something with more instrumentals let's see if i can get something that 
All right, we're going to do that one. So we're going to turn these off. We're going to turn these back on. All right. Make sure that, okay, everything is good. So we're going to go ahead and try this song here. Sounds good, guys. Still sounds good. All right, turn this back on. All right, it's on. Let's do it again. Start it from the beginning. All right, guys. Let's put this up. Go ahead and let you know what I think. Um, if you have the solo threes, um, do I think you need to upgrade to the solo fours? No. Um, so if you have a good pair of solo threes, they're not busted up or, you know, busted up broken or on their last legs, I would say, no, you don't need to. Um, now, depending on how old they are, you know, some of those threes have been out for a long time, so depending on how old they are. Now, as far as the solo fours, um, they're, they're nice, they're comfortable. Um, they still have all the benefits of the solo threes, but I just think the solo threes look a little bit, you know, more premium to me. Just, just my thoughts. Could be just this, the dull color, but it's just my thoughts. Um, but as far as the sound quality, yes, they do sound better than the solo threes. Um, it's more clear. You hear you, you hear the, you, the highs and kind of the lows and the mids clearer. Even the voice sound clear. Um, but um, and that's me listening to it over and over again. So would the regular everyday average user, regular person, notice? No. Um, now with an audio file, hear person, somebody who's, who, you know, who was trained to listen, and they they probably can tell. Um, so I would say that these are a worth upgrade if you don't even have a pair of these, or that your your um, your solo threes are kaput. They're out of here. Now, do I think they're worth the price? Um, no, I don't think they're worth the price. Um, I think these are about a hundred dollars to be honest with you because they don't come with active noise cancellation which i think you know you can get on amazon and i don't have one of my other pairs around me but you can get a a, a 79 dollar pair of headphones that's not going to be when used with these materials not going to look as good it's going to be more plasticky going to be more this but you come with active noise cancellation so i think um they um what beats need to do or apple need to do is stop trying to say well we're not going to put active noise cancellation in these because these are our budget or mid-range i don't give a dag on um budget mid-range or any other range um active noise cancellation should be something that should be on these because you're gonna wear these in the gym you can probably wear these on the bus and even though they don't cup your ear like all way over they sit tight enough on your ear that it can you will know probably notice the difference in the sound so i think they should have added the active noise cancellation on here so i don't believe to me and now now do they sound good yes the good is they sound good they're still comfortable um you don't lose no if you like the threes you lose no you'll lose nothing they're a little bit i think slight little heavier grammar too heavier but you don't lose nothing um you actually gain um clear sound um they feel good in the hand they look good so you don't lose nothing now i do think you lose a little bit of the punchiness of the bass if you you know love the um you know the bass or the punch of a bass i think you lose it um going to the fours but is it that noticeable eh, it depends on if you like bass or not you probably can notice a, a little bit of that so 
do I think they're a good upgrade? Yes. If you don't have a pair, you're looking for a smaller pair, and you just want, you know, the Beats brand, which is more of a lifestyle, I'm guessing, brand. I would say lifestyle because there are better brands out there. Um, well, not better branded, but there are brands out there, you know, they're going to give you everything a little bit more for the money you're paying for these. So, um, is it an upgrade? Yes. Is it a worthy upgrade? No. Is it something because I have the threes, I need to go out and get these? No. If you have the threes, they're in a good condition like mine's are, you can forego getting the fours. But if you don't have, if your threes are on this last leg and you know it's on this last leg, I mean, finding these on the sale, 130, you know, closer to 100, I think it's a good deal. $200 is not worth $200, guys. I'm going to tell you, it's not worth $200. Um, so my grade for these because it doesn't come with active noise cancellation I think it should it should come with active noise cancellation I'm going to give these a I'm going to say a B minus it's higher than the C but it's not an A um, do it sound great? Yes. Is it comfortable? Yes. Noise cancellation should have been in here because for 200, you're asking people to pay $199 and they have no active noise cancellation. No. Even if you added the noise cancellation and didn't even want to put in the, um, the passive pass through, you should, you know, I, I'll still be mad about that because pay a hundred, two hundred dollars for, I mean, $200 for these at regular price. It should have passive. It should have active built into these. Some people just don't like the pros and, you know, the bulkiness of the pros, but these fit that. So I'm thinking, you know, for me, it's a B minus because I think it should have those things. You're not losing nothing from going from these to this, maybe a little bit more punchiness, but I think these are not worth $199. $100, yes. $120, $25, stretching it. But I can go on Amazon, buy something this small um, that comes with active noise cancellation, pass through um tozo is killing it there's other brands but that's the first brand that came to me um even raycons killing it skull candy you know for 99 can get everything that just don't have and i'm not saying those are not just supposed to be a premium apple premium so i would say there's a b minus guys b minus at best you know you could probably go c plus but it's above a c but it's not a fully b so i'll say a, a b minus guys so guys that's the end of this unboxing and review do me a favor please like share and subscribe i'm gonna say it one more time please like share and subscribe i want to thank my new current current new subscriber for still rocking with the channel guys we're up to 1010 people 10 subscribers so i just want to thank all y'all for still rocking with your boy yet again this is your boy the Ghettoographer, aka Path to Tech, thanking you for rocking out with me on another unboxing. Guys, we got some more unboxings coming soon, so do me a favor, please like, share, and subscribe. And you know, if you're thinking of getting them, you can get them pretty decent, but they're not all, you know, all be all end alls and everything like that. You have a good day, see you soon.